Good day everyone, this is Hans Liu from Ray White Build. Today we will be talking about what to do during an open floor inspection before you buy. When you think you have found your perfect home, it can be very easy to overlook the finer details. Buying a home requires a very discerning eye. Even if you have done your fair share of inspection in the past, viewing a home that could be yours forever requires a few key considerations. Here are the things to look out for. Run the eye over the walls and ceiling for cracks that could be the signs for subsidence and movement. Depending on the severity, this can be very costly to repair. If you do come across anything that calls for concern, it might be necessary to call in a qualified building inspector. Hollow sounding timbers such as beams and floorboards could be indication of termite damage. Find out from the agent and the local council, see if the area is prone to termite or any other insects. Here's a tip. If you are serious about buying, considering getting a professional pest inspection of the property. A thorough check for the front doors through the garden will be worth the investment for peace of mind. There are plenty of ways to fix an untidy garden, but having a quick walk around the premises to see what you are in for is a good idea. What type of plants are already growing? Will it require ongoing maintenance? If you have green thumb, this might not be the issue. Otherwise, you might want to consider the upkeep required. Other things to check are the waters and the plumbings, water marks and stains on the wall as well as mold, and whether the fence, roof, downpipe need any maintenance. On behalf of the team at Ray White Build, we wish you well with your search for your dream home. We look forward to see you at our next open for inspections.